Oh my gosh, I think this is working. Good morning, everyone. Somebody say hi or something so that, yes, Marnie, I see your face and I hear your voice. Um, I'm using the same technology live stream software that I used to do my Amazon Lives, but you have to change things around to line up with YouTube. Oh, okay. Michael's watching in the other room and I just heard my voice. So, okay. We're good to go. This is wild. I love this. Good morning. Um, I don't feel like I'm awake. I think there's about a 20, 30 second delay between me and you seeing me or hearing me. So um, for those of you that are watching live, obviously you know that it is 9.30 in the morning on Sunday, June 27th. But if you're catching the replay, now you know when it started. So I am just, I'm not just waking up. I've been up since 6.30, but I feel like I haven't been up. So I am going to get this party started. I hope all of y'all are doing well. Happy, happy Sunday. Also, there's some cool features. Like I can put your comments up on the screen. So if you ask me a specific question, thank you, Positive Semantics. Um, hey, Teresa. So if you ask me a specific question that I want to address in this little live, I can put it up. Hey, we got Mississippi in the house. I can put it up on screen so everybody knows what I'm talking about. This is so cool. I have my, I don't always do a second cup of coffee, but I figured today I need to be on my game. So got my second cup of coffee going. It's blurry. Um, it might be your connection. Let me scream to my husband to see if he can see something. Honey, it, am I blurry? He says I'm perfect. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he always says. Okay. So anyway, um, I have to update the description box a little bit. So after the video, I'll do that. I think I've included everything except I forgot to include the, um, headband, but that's in my Amazon storefront as well. It's one of those spa headband packs, but I pulled a little bow off. We got San Antonio in the house, all over the place. I'm so excited. I I don't know how long we're going to be here. So hopefully you have your morning cup of coffee. If you've spiked your coffee, no judgment here. I can't drink this early in the morning. I'll be asleep by noon if I do that. Um, so basically, we're going to chit chat. I'm going to put on my makeup. I hope my goal is not to actually talk about the makeup. It's all listed down in the description box, basically in the order in which I apply it. I did want to go over some stuff. I went to an anniversary, a Nordstrom anniversary preview party in the beauty department. This wasn't an invitation for influencers. It's just an event for local Nordstrom people. Um, I was invited by the beauty manager, but like I ran into friends of mine from just, you know, normal shopping people from San Antonio while I was there. And they did in fact preview quite a few things, at least from the beauty department. And um, if I look, if I'm, I feel like it's rude if I don't look directly at you. However, I'm going to be all over the place. My comments are coming in on the screen. Obviously, I need to look at the comments because I don't want to be ignoring you. Otherwise, what's the point of a live? And I'm also eventually going to look in the mirror to put my makeup on. So, but anyway, I went to this Barbie themed event. The invitation said, come dressed in your best Barbie. And I'm thinking, um, no, <laughs> like what am I going to wear? Lycra and stilettos. So I went with a Barbie pink theme. That was the outfit that I posted today on Instagram. If you missed it, you can go back and look after the, is Diana, Diana Ross is in the house. We have a celebrity. I'm teasing. She's in Cincinnati though. Mm. Anyway, um, so I dressed head to toe pink. That was my homage to Barbie. But while we were there, they shared, um, I got a few samples and um, they had some pamphlets with some intel. I took notes like a crazy person. So we'll talk about that. But I do need to get some makeup on because I actually think my skin looks pretty good. I'm not going to put myself down. Um, I didn't link it here, but just so y'all know, the key product that has made the biggest change in my skin ever is the SkinCeuticals Floretin. It was spelled with a P-H. P-H-L-O-R-E-T-I-N. Floretin C-F. It is a vitamin C serum. SkinCeuticals has several vitamin C serums, and they each have a specific purpose. For years, I've been using the CE Ferulic, which is more targeted for fine lines, wrinkles, aging kind of concerns. 
but they've recently added a few more options. And there's a Floretin CF, which is more for dry skin and um, targeting discoloration on the skin. And then there's a Floretin gel version, and that's for oily skin, and it does the same thing. So obviously, I have dry skin. I've been using the CF for about three or four months. And I mean, I had a big melasma patch here. It's almost just a little bit left here. That's pretty much gone. It's more stubborn on my cheeks, but um, so much more faded. Like if I had to leave the house without makeup on, I wouldn't feel self-conscious at all. And I will admit that I have in the past. Obviously, it, you know, would help if I had some mascara on a little concealer, but Anyway, so that's definitely helped. It's helped my confidence. It's helped my skin tone. I know it is an expensive investment, but I figure 166 bucks, maybe twice a year for the bottle versus like thousands of dollars in laser treatments. It's not bad. It's a pretty good deal. Okay, so let's get started. And like I said, everything's going to be listed in the description box. And if you have any specific questions, of course, as always, ask away. Doesn't have to be makeup related. We're all just girlfriends getting together on a Sunday morning to just chit chat. Um, so I didn't list the brushes because I just didn't think about it ahead of time what I'm going to be using. But I mean, nothing new. Like if it is, I'll mention it, but um, it's my usual, my usual things. So, okay. Obviously I didn't get the full rundown of the whole beauty thing and I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do my videos. I'm gonna do the same videos that I do every year for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Obviously there will be more than normal Nordstrom content coming at you in July, but that doesn't mean my regular content disappears. There'll just be a couple more videos than usual. So as always, um, I was the first person on YouTube to do this and I'm not gonna stop doing it now, even though it's caught on a little bit. I'll be walking you through the online catalog. Now, um, the this is a good question. How do I do this? Okay, Jerry asked, how long does the, can you see that? That is so cool. Jerry asked, hey, Jerry, how long does that Trish McAvoy tube last? I would say three to six months at least, depending on how much you spackle on. Mine lot go more towards six months, um, but you get a pretty good amount. And I will say I didn't see, um, okay, how do we get it off the screen? <laughs> there we go. Um, I did not see what the Trish McAvoy um, offerings were this year. But I'm hoping, as always, they usually have some sort of giant tube of it in the sale. So um, I'm not saying don't spend any money, but don't maybe buy anything at Nordstrom just yet because let's wait and see what happens at the sale. Um, also, I'm using a few products. Um, we're just going to bounce all over the place. I'm using a few products that they had that Tarte custom kit thing that I talked about on my stories um, like a week or so ago. And it arrived, so I'll, I am using some of the products from that. But, okay, where was I with the Nordstrom thing? Okay, so I always upload Sunday, Tuesday, Friday. I have a very set upload schedule. I like to think of it like a TV show. I have my, you know, time slot that I've allotted to myself. So Sunday, Tuesday, Friday, 6 a.m. Central. And that works great, except that I want to do my, you know, my annual walk through. Hey, Levia, I want to do my annual walk through the catalog, so to speak. Um, but the catalog doesn't go live until Tuesday, July 6th. So it's not going to really be plausible for me to have a whole video filmed and ready for you to go at 6 a.m. in the morning when it probably doesn't go live till 2 a.m. that day. So what I'm thinking is I will have just a normal content video go up Tuesday, July 6th. And then that Friday, um, I'll walk you through my recommendations. Obviously not all of my recommendations. And then, um, so that's the first video that always goes up. Then I usually have a video that goes live morning of Icon with more links. We'll see about that. And then, um, okay, it's kind of dark here. I know it doesn't look dark, but it's kind of dark here. So it's kind of hard for me to see what I'm doing. Let me see if I can get a little, a mirror that's a little closer. Um... Let's see. Jerry, you are YouTube famous. You're in lockdown for two weeks. I have not been keeping up with the news. I don't even understand. Um, Adelina wants to know the best place to shop. So you can order directly from SkinCeuticals. You can order it from Skin Store. Um, 
There are very few authorized retailers. Skin store go does go 15% off occasionally, like maybe three or four times a year. So it's, it just They just had a 15% off skin SkinCeutical sale week before last, so you just missed it. But it generally doesn't go on sale. It's pretty much 100 and it's the same price at all retailers. Okay, that's pretty good coverage. So skin store or skin SkinCeuticals, and I can um, link it in the description box after the fact, or I can always DM. If you DM me, I'll send you a link, but you can go look for it at either of those places. Um, and then Monique wants to know, okay, I'm not going to maybe add everything up here because it'll take a little longer for me to find it, but um, I did not use a primer today because I did find that while I love, where did I put it? I love this coverage of the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour and I'm wearing it in the shade 22N Light Neutral. Um, I think they just redid the packaging and the numbering, so just look for the lightest light neutral option if you want to get this. I love how it looks, but I find that it's a little drying on the skin. And most of the primers that I use for summer specifically are mattifying. I really like the Colleen Rothschild Black Tourmaline Primer. It mattifies without drying. I don't need this to be any more mattifying. I should have actually used my other one that I like for more of a moisturizing effect, which is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Blurring Primer. I should have used that today just to counteract the, the dryness that sometimes comes with this, but I did not. All right, let me get you off the screen. Okay. Um, hey, Tucson. Okay, Tucson, since you're in the house, let me ask you this. How's your weather in November, like early November? We're thinking maybe going there. Mm. Is it monsoon season? Hey, Quincy. Okay, so... Nordstrom anniversary sale. Let's talk a little bit. Pamphlet. A um, couple of the things that are exciting to me. New Face is in there. I have this product already, but it's a good deal. It's the New Face Mini and the New Face Fix, which is that little skinny, looks like a pencil for lips, eyes, and like lines around here, plus the serum that goes with the mini and the serum that goes with the fix. And it's like $219 for all of those things. It's closer normally to 400 bucks. So that's a really good deal. Um, what am I doing now? Concealer. Um, also that Peter, not Peter, Dr. Dennis Gross, you know that creepy mask? Kind of looks like the Iron Man mask. That, there's a lot of Dennis Gross stuff this year in the sale. That's back in the sale. Um, there is a MAC palette that is stunning. November in Arizona is perfect. Okay, good. Um, there is a MAC palette that is absolutely stunning, an eyeshadow palette. I don't remember what it's called. View from the top. And it comes with a mascara and an uh, eyeliner. I can't really tell from the teeny tiny picture they included. But that's going to be 48 bucks for all of that. Ton of stuff from NARS that's exclusive to Nordstrom. Like you can't find that bundle or some of those shades anywhere else. So like a three pack of their lip glosses that includes Orgasm Laguna and Broken Glass. There's a face palette that has the Laguna bronzer and two really pretty blushes. There are a bunch of other things. Um, hey, Heather, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Derm Store. Derm Store is the other good one. Thank you for reminding us, Curly Girl. Derm Store, Skin Store, Skin Suticles. That's pretty much, oh, Blue Mercury. Those four retailers, I think, as far as I know, Nordstrom used to carry skin suticles, haven't seen it on their website in a while, but just be very careful where you order from. If it seems like it's too good to be true, it is. Skin suticles is probably one of the most counterfeited skincare products on the market. Mm. If you're into dry bar, they're um they're what is this? <laughs> Their version of the like of the Revlon Hot Tools thing is in the sale, including four products. I'm not going to recommend it. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. Honestly, I don't see how it's any better than the Revlon one that you can get for 40 bucks, and the Dry Bar one is like 150. So, I personally think that's not the best use of your money. So that will not where did it go? Be going in the oh yeah, it's pretty early for U.S. Coast people. Um, oh. Okay, I don't think this is, it's not going to be in this sale. Yes, I'm doing a little extra today. Um, I knew they carried Dyson products. The, the ladies there were insisting that they were not going to be 
in the sale at a discounted price, but that they were going to be in the sale with like really nice gifts with purchase. Um, and I have been avoiding buying any Dyson products because I felt like, oh my gosh, they're so expensive. I mean, like $500 for a hairdryer or a flat iron or the air wrap thing. Like if I got all three of those things, that'd be $1,500 in hair tools. Like that just seems excessive and insane. However, everyone I know that has any of those products rave, raves about them. And I feel like maybe I'm not doing my full job as a beauty influencer if I don't just bite the bullet and buy one of those things. So I'm leaning towards getting their version of the flat iron. Um, what was I doing next? Ah, because, good morning, Brenda. Because at the anniversary party yesterday, they had a little demo station and they had that air flat iron. I don't know what it's called. They had it there. I don't really need, it's pretty good coverage here. I'll just do a little. Um, okay. Let's get a little red on the cheek sometimes. The flat iron demo blew my mind. Just absolutely blew my mind. Um, it was the coolest thing. My hair was shiny, silky, straight, one pass. Um, her first lipstick or gloss. Oh, Quincy, that's so exciting. I would recommend a gloss for their first makeup, but let her get... And, okay, so let me get back to Dyson. So that flat iron was insane. It was like, even with, I love my Paul Mitchell that I use. I recommend it. I'll stand behind that. Been using it for years. You have to go over, you know, your strands a couple of times, maybe three times. No, not with the Dyson. It was just whoop, done and so shiny and so glossy. And then she showed me how to finally use it to do the beach waves. I think I could pull it off. It's cordless. It heats up so fast. It's supposed to be less damaging to your hair, probably because you only have to do it through one pass. I might have to go for it. Um, I don't know what gift they're offering, but here's the thing I didn't realize, which is so cool. I did not know Nordstrom carried Dyson. Who knew that? I did not know that. And I don't know, I recommend y'all do this if you have a Nordstrom card, obviously. I always designate the day I'm gonna do my big shop for the sale. I designate that as one of my double points days. So I'm thinking if it fits in my budget, I might add a Dyson vacuum cleaner or the Dyson fan. I'm pretty happy with my current vacuum cleaner, but I really, really would love that fan. It, I mean, it's so hot here. Um, and they do have one that's a, that does heating and cooling because the area where I have my little office set up is, just doesn't have a vent in it. So it's the hottest room in the summer and the coldest room in the winter. And obviously I spend a lot of time there. So I don't know. I'm gonna see what the budget allows. But, um, I mean, I've already set aside my budget, but I don't know what else is offered in the sale and I might want to blow the whole budget on clothes and beauty. But if there's room in the budget to add a vacuum cleaner or um, a fan, I'm going for it. Everyone's saying vacuum's a game changer. It might very well be. Um, I don't do a lot of vacuuming. I use my stick vac because we don't really have a lot of carpeting. We have some flat rugs, but okay. I use two different powders. I use the By Terry Hyaluronic just like under my eyes and where I crease. Um, I'm assuming, Elizabeth, you're asking which Dyson vacuum do you have currently? You're probably not asking me because I don't have any of them. Jerry, honey, honey, stop. Okay, that's that. Okay, some new stuff to talk about. So I have been, oh, okay. I have been contouring my nose and a little bit of my face with the Makeup Forever Sculpting Powder. I did notice one of the things they mentioned in this, okay, I can't, I guess I can share it. I mean, you're not gonna see it, but they also gave me a list of things like daily deals that are coming up. So like on the 28th, there's a ton of things. The 29th, this is in July, the 31st, whatever. One of the things I saw was that Makeup Forever, is on sale, where is it? Makeup Forever, 25% off matte velvet skin concealer, 25% off on August 3rd. And I forgot to ask, but I'm like, wait, Nordstrom carries Makeup Forever since when? So I'm kind of interested in checking that out. I was not aware. 
Okay, wait, Dyson, everyone's talking about the stick back. The V11. Ooh, I heard the V11 is amazing. Um, I'm not saving for this sale. The sale's already saved. Like that, we, we started budgeting for that before the last sale was even over, just putting stuff away. So that, I literally have a stack of cash in an envelope set aside for that. Not paying in cash though, because I want those points on my Nordstrom card, but it's set aside. Okay, back to Makeup Forever. So normally I use the Makeup Forever sculpting powder to contour. And um, I love all these comments, but I can't keep up. Okay, I got this in the Amazon Prime Day sale. I didn't do like a huge crazy Amazon haul. I got a few things. We'll talk all about that next month in my monthly um, Amazon haul video. But this was here and it's been on my radar for a long time and I finally bit the bullet. I can't remember how much of a discount it was, but this is the Lorac Pro Contour Palette and it comes with, is it gonna focus? Yep, that's so fun. Okay, um, comes with all those things. And really I just use the lightest contour shade and that's it. And it also came with this little sculpting brush. So that's what I'm using. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I just used the light contour shade. It's a very stiff, firm, narrow brush, so it actually works. It's a little too dense, actually. I think I prefer my make my Sigma brush because this is really, I mean, look at that. That's a little too much. <laughs> we'll fix it. But it's great for drawing on the face contour. So I've talked about how I do this before, but I'll walk you through it. I don't really suck in my cheeks so much as I tip my head down and I can see the shadow. Um, I guess I suck in a little. Okay, I'm drawing this on a little more exaggerated for your benefit. We'll fix all this. You lost your remote for the Dyson fan. Rachel lost her remote. Does anyone have any ideas on how to get a new one? I would assume just reach out to, oh Lord, look at that, to Dyson <laughs> customer service. Um, you know what I forgot to use? I'll use it for the, I bet this will help blur it out. This is the brush that came in the Tarte kit. Let's see if we can blend this a little, cause that was a lot. See, it does blend. Look how quickly that blends. The Sigma brushes are great. Obviously I'm partial to BK Beauty brushes and not just because I'm actually friends with Lisa J Makeup in real life. Um, it's not worth it to me to promote something that's not good and it's gonna ruin my reputation, but her brushes are fabulous. I will say that Sigma has a couple um, of more specific, very task-oriented brushes, like, you can ignore the stripes on my nose, like the one I usually use to contour with, which is the Precision, Bake Precision P89. It's amazing. Um, we're just gonna blur this out or blend it out because I went a little crazy with the, should have had a V8. <laughs> yeah, I, I I, mean, I don't work for Dyson, I don't know, but when in doubt, just reach out to their customer service and they'll go from there. Okay, so I've really blended that out quite a bit. Although on camera, it looks like I do have stripes on my nose, let's see. I can assure you that in real life it does not. Um, Amy is asking, curious to know, let me see if I can pop you up there, if I'm still following Faster Way to Fat Loss. Yes and no. So I'm still track, not, no, I'm not tracking my macros. I'm still doing intermittent fasting. I'm still pretty close to sticking with the carb cycling, which means Monday, Tuesdays, low carb days, and then the rest of the week is regulars. But, um, I'm always honest with y'all, when I started realizing that I had started menopause and everything that I normally did wasn't working. I was very discouraged. So I'm kind of taking a break from Faster Way to kind of figure out my body and like where it's at right now. So intermittent fasting and carb cycling are still working well. I've been really slacking on the workouts, so no. Um, but I think I will stand behind Faster Way. I think it's a great program. I've said this before in my review about it. I think it is great to do the first six week round and at least one month of VIP um, after that to learn the system, learn how to work out, learn how to eat correctly, learn what your portion should be like. Do I think you need to pay the monthly VIP fee for the rest of your life? I don't. 
I mean, if you want to, I do think, especially if you're not, if you don't belong to a gym, I think the 70 or $80 a month isn't bad. If you look at what you get for that, you get three different workouts for every single day of the week you get that are on demand whenever you want. You get a full meal plan with like two or three options every single day. You get the coaching. So I think for what you're getting, like think about what you'd be paying to have a nutritionist and a personal trainer and a gym membership. I think it's great. I just don't know if it's really sustainable to track everything you put in your mouth every day forever. So my recommendation for for faster rate of fat loss is definitely do one round of the six-week intro, one month of VIP, and then maybe do a a second round, six-week round, like closer to the holidays to get yourself going. Like maybe do it at the beginning of the year in January and then one more time like in the summer or to get yourself ready for summer. And I think that's sufficient. But okay, now I have to go backwards and find – there it is. Okay. So that's my answer to that. Um, And the headband is from Amazon. It's in my Amazon storefront. After the video is over, I'll link it in the description box too. Can you program? Oh, you can program it on your phone. Yes. Mm. Okay, coffee's getting cold. I have my contra on. What am I looking to add? Ah, bronzer. Okay. Hey, Miami. Bronzer brush we're going to use. This is a Too Faced one. I'm, and to help blend out that contour, I'm going to basically go right back over it, but not as defined. So the contour is to make features recede or pop out. And then the bronzer is really to add color back to your face. Because if you think about it, we put on foundation to even at our skin tone, but that also blanks out all your features. It makes you kind of look flat. So it's helpful to have the bronzer to add it back. This was a debate I got into with my best friend, actually. She's like, I don't understand how you can put on all that makeup every day. Like, I just put on three things. And I'm like... Everybody has their own thing. I just, I figure if you're going to commit to wearing makeup every day, you might as well, you know, go all in. <laughs> um, oh, you can download an app for the fan if you lose the app, the, the remote. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. I think that's good. We may have to add more after the fact, but we'll see. Okay. Highlighter. You're going to hear about this in my monthly favorites. I just filmed it yesterday. Laura Mercier just released their new Rose Glow collection. It included this highlighter and I think six caviar sticks. And um, this highlighter is just, it's stunning. It's beautiful. It's supposed to be skin tone adapting. So no matter what your skin tone is, it's supposed to look good on you. I don't know about that because I only have the one (laughs) skin tone. Um, But I like it. There we go. Actually, that's not true. I have been fake tanning and I used a darker foundation to match my face to my body and it looked good on my slightly darker skin, but who are we kidding? I'm still pretty fair. I haven't tried the Ilia foundation yet. It's not on my radar, although I do hear... Oh no, it turned off. Hun, it turned off. Oh, and we're back. I don't know why my camera just did that. Okay. Oh, okay, Mary, I have to put you up there because I want to talk about this. So she switched to a different coach Um, I love Allie. I love her to death, but I'm just curious as I'm like menopausal, if there is a coach that's more geared towards us. I mean, Allie is fabulous. She is a nurse. She knows the science. She knows the biology, but she's pregnant with her fourth baby. So her brain is more geared to mommy postpartum, that kind of thing. And I, I'm curious to get some recommendations for other coaches who maybe are I don't want to say better because I think she, she's their number one coach. She's amazing. But who whose groups are more geared to us ladies that are way past postpartum, like 20 years postpartum. So let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, yeah, I don't want – I'm not putting down people who don't wear a full face of makeup, but these are the same people that ask me why their makeup doesn't look like my makeup. And you can't get this – well, I don't have that much. You can't get a, the look that I end up with, with with mascara, foundation, and some lip gloss. So 
I don't know why that popped up on there, Miss Sunrise. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So let's talk a little bit more about Nordstrom Beauty. So another big focus of the anniversary sale is Beauty Bio. Um, a ton of offerings. Now I do have a lot of Beauty Bio stuff already, but I'm not, I haven't been using it to be fair. And I have been inspired to pull my Glow Pro back out. I did it last night. They were talking about how when you do your Glow Pro, it's that micro needling thing. If you do it at night before you put on, after you wash your face, but before you put on all your skincare, um, it'll help everything you put on get absorbed that much better because you've just basically poked a ton of holes in your face. And it makes sense. So I'm starting back three days a week doing the Glow Pro. Um, what foundation and color do I use? I usually just use whatever foundation I love, just a shade or two deeper. Um, so just the exact same foundations I always use. I just go like one shade up. I'd rather go a little too light and then like add the NARS bronzing cream to deepen it up if I need to, then have something that's too dark. It's a little harder to tone it down. If that answers your question. Okay, so as far as the Beauty Bio stuff, they have a cryo roller that looks so cool. It's a stainless steel roller and it's super cold on your face and it's supposed to be great for depuffing and all kinds of stuff. Um, some of their skincare, I've tried the Quench Moisturizer and the Quench Eye Cream in a sample kit and it's really good. And it's in the sale. Um, it includes a full-size quench moisturizer and I think the full-size eye cream for 99 bucks, which I think is pretty, it's, that's, I mean, since I pay $166 currently for just my face moisturizer, it's a pretty good deal. Um, oh, do we have any Atelier Cologne fans? Because what am I looking for now? Have I finished my face? I have eyebrows. Um, they are offering five of their travel scents. So they're 10 milliliter bottles each, which are pretty good. They're like the like the big pet. I mean, they're bi bigger than this size. Five of these for $75. And it includes, I didn't write down all the scents, but it includes Pacific Lime, Lemon Island, their California Clementine, and two other scents. I thought that was a really good deal. Um, I have quite a few friends in real life who love the Atelier Cologne. They're more citrus fruity scents. That's really not my thing. So I'm not very excited about that. But if you are, I want to let you know about that. What I am excited for is the Sicily offering. So Sicily Paris makes probably my all-time favorite cream mask, which is the Sicily Paris Black Rose Cream Mask. And they are offering, let me get this right, the skin, all from the Black Rose line, the skin cream, the cream mask, and the eye cream for $155. The, I think it's the skin cream is full size. The other two products are more of a deluxe size, but I want in on that. <laughs> okay, let me draw in my eyebrows, which is hard to do and talk at the same time. This is why I think a lot of YouTubers do this off camera, but I will give it my best shot. It's harder to do than it looks. I don't know if it's going to turn out well, but it is what it is. Um... Okay, two people gave me a thumbs down. I wonder why. Also, 46 people gave me a thumbs up. Again, I wonder why. That's why for years I had the thumbs up and thumbs down thing turned off because I don't know why you're giving me the thumbs up or the thumbs down. It doesn't help me change anything to make you less unhappy or more happy. I don't know what I did to make you hit that button. Do you just like me and want to give me support that's awesome but are you thumbs downing me because you you dislike me no matter what i do you just don't like the topic you don't like the thumbnail like i don't know i don't know and then part of me is like well if you don't like the topic why are you watching you knew what the topic was but then i'm thinking well i won't know to avoid that topic in the future if you guys do. i don't know i'm just saying that i don't think it's a very helpful or constructive YouTube tool, but I turned it back on because I realized that I don't come up in recommended videos if that's turned off. So you kind of have to play the YouTube game. I love YouTube. Um, where is my brow gel? Uh -oh, oh, here it is. 
Okay, what else to tell you about what's on, in the sale? Okay, Beauty Bio deals. There's a bunch. Um, the Sicily Black Rose, a lot of NARS, a bunch of MAC stuff. Makeup erasers, if you're into those. That eyebrow pencil was from Lancome. It's down in the description box. It should be. Um, there's some supplements like vitamins for hair and nails. I just am going to tell you, it's. I'm not going to say I'm never going to ever recommend those kinds of things, but I am currently not comfortable recommending those, so I won't. If you're into Supergoop, if you like their play sunscreen, it's the aerosol spray sunscreen, you get a three pack of those for $42. Um, I don't know that the thumbs down is not nice. It's just not helpful. Like I'd rather you just say friend like nicely in the description box. Hey Marnie, generally I like your videos. I just wasn't into this topic today. Or Hey Marnie, I generally like your, always start with a comment. I like your videos, but I thought the sound was off or your lighting wasn't as good as it normally is. Or I would have preferred if you had showed the swatches. It's like that's helpful, but just the thumbs down. Even the thumbs up, like let's not focus on the negative. Are you just giving me a thumbs up because you want to be nice, which is awesome, but I don't know, like I'd love it to say, like, hey, I gave you a thumbs up because I'm really interested in learning more about um, how you do your makeup, so I love Get Ready With Me's. Okay, great. And if I get a lot of those kind of comments, then I know I should do more Get Ready With Me's or vice versa. Okay. Normally, I would do primer now. For years, I was anti eyeshadow primer, but I'm back on that eyeshadow primer train. However, like I mentioned, the Laura Mercier release with the new caviar sticks, I'm going to use that as a base. And the one I'm using, I didn't put in the description box. I apologize. I'll, I'll fix that. Is called Kiss from a Rose. And I just want to point out, I went to bed last night. Before I went to bed last night, I was trying to figure out um, which shade I wanted to use. And I did a few swatches on my hand. That was last night. Took a shower, washed my face. Still there. Like these babies do not budge. Yes, menopause Barbie or menopause Taylor is helpful for sure. Um, you do the thumbs up because you, I'm never going to say it's a bad thing to have a thumbs up. Like I'm not going to complain, but um, it, it is helpful if like, if it's not just because you want to support me, if you have like a specific like, oh, I love these kinds of videos. That's more helpful. Okay, so I'm going to use whatever shade I just said this was all over my eyelid as a base. You don't have to set this with powder at all, but I want a little more shimmer. And so this, I'm hoping, and I'm patting it in. It definitely helps to pat it in. I'm hoping that this kind of adds a little more shimmer. Any thoughts on the Galveston diet? I don't know what that is, so I have no thoughts. Anything that's a quote-unquote diet, I think, is ridiculous. How's that for an answer? I don't even need to know what it is. Um, diets are ridiculous. I just think that at some point you're going to um, go back to eating like a normal person and then all the weight you lost is going to come back. There's no magic diet. There's no sustainable diet. It has to be a lifestyle choice. It has to be consistently making good, healthy eating choices, appropriate portion sizes, and working out. It's just a matter of mathematics. You have to have less coming in and more going out to lose weight. To maintain weight, you have to even it. I mean, I, w I wish there was a magic pill. I wish there was, you know, even like everyone's had such great success, let's say, doing keto. But like, is that a sustainable lifestyle diet? No, you're not eating fruits and vegetables. You're going to get scurvy. You're going to look great, but you're, you know, you have no nutrients coming in. So for short term, I think it's fabulous. Or if you're on the keto diet because you actually have epilepsy and that's what it was intended to treat, then yes, because your doctors are telling you you need to be on that diet, then yes, you sustain that. But you know, none of these it's, remember the Atkins diet? Remember Atkins was a big thing? And everybody lost so much weight. And then the minute they started eating carbs, even a little bit, they just went. <laughs> okay. What's my favorite self tanner and in what shade? Okay. I love the Loving Tan 2-Hour Express in dark. That is my favorite. But lately I want something more dark. So I think I'm going to forego the 2-Hour Express and just get the regular 
Loving Tan Bronzing Mousse in Ultra Dark. Um, however, I just tried this one. It's the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark. It recommends to get Ultra Dark to apply a full application, wait 30 minutes and do it again. And I didn't because I wanted to see what one layer looked like. And this is a few days out. It's not as dark as I'd like. So I'm going to try it again probably tonight and do the double approach and let you know. Um, have a good time. Have fun at church. Is that appropriate? Have a, have a nice day, time at church, uh, Jennifer. Um, wait, let me go backwards. Where is, there it is. Okay. So I will, I will update y'all on the Bondi Sands, but um, I like the smell. The smell was really good and there was no streaking, nothing weird. So even though I didn't get quite as dark as I wanted to, I also didn't apply it following the directions. So right now, Loving Tan is my current favorite. I may have a new one to recommend. Um, Carolyn, I'm so glad you figured out how to chat. Let me answer a few more questions and we'll get to the eyeshadow. How do I decide what eyeshadow colors I want to use that day? Whatever I feel like. Sometimes I'll try to color coordinate with an outfit. Sometimes I just want to try out a new palette. Um, it's just whatever my, there's no wrong way. There's no wrong choice. It's going to just have fun. Whatever looks like fun to play with that day. Remember all the dopes who took Fen Fen and had heart issues? Yeah. Who thought that was going to be a good idea? Nobody. Okay, Linny B, you're doing keto the right way because I know you can't eat some fruit. Um, I should have I should have backpedaled on that one a little bit. I know keto does allow some nominal fruits and vegetables. Um, I just don't know that it's sustainable to be like full on no carbs, no fruits, no vegetables. So that's good. I should just say this. I'm not a big fan of extremes. Extremism in diets, in exercise, in religion, in politics. I'm a, more of a moderate kind of person in all things. Okay, let's get on to the eyeshadow. Um, so that Tarte custom kit I talked about, I think it was like seven pieces for 60 bucks or something like that. I don't have Stone Cold Fox. Terry's asking what I think about ColourPop Stone Cold. Whoops, not that one, sorry. Um, there you go. I don't have that palette, but it looks really cool. I like it. I don't dislike it. Trying Tricks to keeping your eyeshadow from looking muddy. That's Andrea. Um... Try to make sure that your eyeshadows have different, they're not all the same shade. Most good palettes, there are very few palettes where I have that issue where they all blend together into one mess. Generally speaking, try this combo. The lightest shade on your eye, on your lid, um, the middle tone in the socket crease, and then a darker tone, the darkest tone out here on the corner. And you should be kind of okay. Wait, Adkins died of a massive coronary on New York? Oh, I did not know that. It's not funny. It's not funny. I'm sorry. It's 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 ironic though, isn't it? But I bet he looked good. Okay. So this was part of that pick a palette, pick like your custom palette. And I picked the Glamazon palette. And I will say that this palette, if you're worried about muddy shadows, this is one where it could go horribly wrong. If it would focus, that would be even better. Let's see. Let's see if it'll do. Ah, there we go. Okay. So see how these, except for the upper and the lower corners, they're all very similar in tone. Those can start blending together if you're not careful about where you strategically place those. So just be careful. Um, Kristen, thank you. Thank you. It's been fun. I don't know if I'm going to keep up with the Amazon live streaming. It was a fun experiment for two months. We'll see. It's so much more work than YouTube, and my, my heart is with YouTube, and I just – Felt like it was taking away from my YouTube focus, and that's not okay. And then real quick, Lenny wants to know what is Glow Pro. Glow Pro is a micro needling at home system, and it's made by a company called Beauty Bio. Okay, so we're playing with this. I'm just going to use the little mirror here, and like I always do, um, I'm going to go with a fluffy brush and go with this shade. Come here. This is more of a matte mid-tone shade. Any tips for getting eyeliner close to the lashes? I just don't use an eyeliner anymore. I have little tiny beady eyes. I just, I quit. I'm done. Um, but if you want to get it super close, go underneath. 
and wiggle it underneath your lashes and it'll get it right in there. Okay. Three hospitals. I'm so sorry. I think if you're in the hospital, your focus needs to be on getting better and not about losing weight or gaining weight. And then once you get out of the hospital and your health is under control, then you can worry about weight gain or weight loss. Um, but I would say at the core, your, your actual health is more important. Um, okay. So fluffy brush, the shade's called Utopia. And I always tilt my head back so I can see the shadows of my, um, where the eye socket is. And I do it a little bit above my actual crease. Cause like I said, I have small beady eyes and a hood on top of that. So I'm also angling my brush up so I can push that hood up and we do it like that. This is going to be fast. Okay. Rachel, you might be right that Dr. Atkins died from hitting his head, but I have to admit that the, um, obnoxious person inside of me kind of hopes it was a heart attack. Okay. I'm just not a fan of the fad diets. And everyone I know who was like hardcore Atkins back in the day and lost a ton of weight are now heavier than they ever were. Um, Cheryl is asking me about the false lash application. I'm not doing well. <laughs> I think I just had to accept the fact that I'm never going to be a false eyelash wearer. Like it just is not meant to be. I kind of stink at it. Head injury from a fall on ice. Okay. That's not as salacious though. We want we want something that's, you know, gossipy and and uh, salacious. Falling while hitting your head is just tragic. It's very sad. Okay. Pencil brush, same color. Under the eyes. Yeah, I have noticed, um, Rachel just, no, Linny B said she doesn't use eyeliner anymore either. I have found that since, okay, my hands are shaking like crazy. I've had way too much coffee and nothing to really eat yet. Okay. Um, I have just found when you have smaller eyes, that eyeliner really closes them off. Um, I was talking to someone I know yesterday and her eyeliner was smeared down to here because it's 98 degrees and like 80% humidity. And so I just, eyeliner doesn't work for me or anyone really that lives in San Antonio uh, this time of year anyway. So give it a try. You can always, you know, like I'm doing some shadowing underneath my eye with an eyeshadow. It's a similar effect. It's much softer. It's more wearable and it's not going to run down your face. Okay, let's put some shiny stuff on the lids. I think, I can't remember what I did. Okay, I used this shade. This, the, whoop, uh, nope, there we go, that one. It's the lightest, no, it's the mid-tone shimmer shade. I'm gonna use my ring finger. I'd like to think I'm a little funnier in person. <laughs> when I'm filming my video, I mean, maybe I'm not funny at all, but when I'm filming my videos, I'm thinking about time and making sure I get all my points across and not babbling. Um, also, there's no interaction, so I'm just talking to myself. But when I'm in a live, whether it's Instagram or YouTube, I feel like you see a little bit more of my personality because I'm not thinking about time constraints or making sure I stay on topic, clearly. Um, okay, Bliss is the lightest shade here. And I'm going to take my finger and tap that into the inner portion, not just the corner, but kind of sweep it in a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but it just adds a little more dimension. You grew up in the Caribbean using eyeshadow as eyeliner. See? Eyeliner is just not, unless you live somewhere where there's just no humidity and no heat, it just isn't your friend in the summer. Okay. No, Ruth, it's 100% how you look in your clothes. I'm kidding. You should, no. I think, but to be honest, I think... Part of it should, is, a lot of it obviously is how you look in your clothes. And that doesn't mean you have to be a size zero. It means you have to be happy with how you look in your clothes. And that could be a size eight. It could be a size 12. It could be a size four. It's whatever makes you comfortable. Um, not focus so much on the number on the scale or the number on the tag of the clothes, but do you like how you look when you look at yourself in the mirror? Um, that's definitely going to be some of it. For sure. I mean, I think anyone who says it doesn't matter is not being entirely honest with themselves. 
Okay, so this is a very light look. So I'm going to um, take the darkest shade, which happens to be this, um, there it goes, this like deep berry pink, and a smaller, more defined brush. It's the BK Beauty 202. I mean, obviously health is important. At the end of the day, it's the most important but mental health is part of it. And if you just don't feel good about yourself, it's going to affect all of your health. You just have to have a healthy attitude about that. Okay, this is working. Yeah, you don't have humidity in Southern California for the most part, I remember that. Must be nice. Um, our humidity is off the charts and it's supposed to, I'm praying, It's we have like almost a 60% chance of thunderstorms and um, I'm praying it happens because we need a break in this humidity. I'm used to heat, obviously, living in South Texas, but the humidity this year has been insane. I would, I am friendly and chatty, Cheryl. At least I like to think so. If anybody here on the live um, has met me in real life, if you could comment on that. Have I smelled the Baccarat Rouge? Yes. I bought that last year in the anniversary sale. They had a great deal on it. Um, I've been using it sparingly and I'm really hoping that they offer it again. I think this year I'm going to go, I, I always say this and then I never do what I'm going to say. I think this year I'm going to go for more, more big budget items and less just sheer number of items, if that makes sense. We'll see. Okay. I'm going to take the same brush, dip it into that deep pink. It is very pricey, which is why I, I waited for that sale. And it sold out crazy fast. Okay, so here's the other thing. I'm just pinching that little brush. So things like the Sicily and the La Mer, I, I'm always hesitant to recommend like the crazy expensive stuff. However, that's the stuff that sells out. So obviously people are buying it. Like, like the Dyson, all the Dyson things, the Dyson Airwrap, the Dyson hair dryer, all the Dyson hair tools, I think are ridiculously overpriced. And I think who is buying this stuff? But those are the things that sell out the at the very beginning of a sale. So I guess people are buying it. And maybe I need to just not be so afraid of offending someone who thinks that's too expensive. Let me know. I would, I would happily sit with you at your lunchroom table, Andrea. I'd, I wish I could. I wish I could. I think that'd be so much more fun. But the closest I can get to seeing all of you at once is this live, so this will have to do. Okay. You need to plan the sale. It's what you have to make a strategic plan. You have to set a budget and be firm about it. And when you set that budget, allow yourself. So like, I'm just going to throw numbers out there. I'm not suggesting this is the budget you set. But if you think at most you want to spend $3,000, set the budget for $2,500 or even $2,000 because you know you're gonna go over your budget. So set your budget lower than what you can really afford. If it's $100, then set your budget for 50. But Pat, you know, give yourself some room. And then comb through that catalog. I would like to think that my recommendations are amazing, and spot on, and you should just listen to me, but I can't know what your needs are, what the holes are in your wardrobe. I always do my best to recommend what I feel like is the best value for money, whether that is a $20 t-shirt or a $300 face cream, if it's worth it, I will recommend it to you, which is why you will not see me recommending the Dry Bar Double Shot Hot Shot Kit, because I can't say that it's worth $150 to buy, I'm looking at the package, to buy the hair tool and then travel size of the liquid glass shampoo, conditioner, sealant, and a full size hot toddy heat protectant mist. No, go get the Revlon or the Hot Tools, same looking dryer for 40 bucks and use whatever shampoo you like. Okay. Um, let's see, let me go backwards. Oh no, all their wine bottles in the garbage cans. That's kind of funny though. Okay, I need, does adding to cart help grab items in the sale? A hundred percent, yes. If it, if they'll let you, um, you know, they don't always do that. I would say, um, okay, here's, I'm getting off track. Let me curl my lashes. Here's my strategy. Um, 
Put everything in the cart if they'll let you, but add everything to your wish list for sure. They'll let you add everything you want to your wish list ahead of time, and then you can select everything on your wish list and throw it right into your cart and check out. Um, Prayon, I know you think that. She's saying nothing is left by the time August rolls around. I have gotten a few comments from people saying they were disgusted by last year's Nordstrom sale. There was nothing there insisting that nobody participated in it. Nobody really bought anything. Let me tell you, I can see the stats on my side and 2020 Nordstrom anniversary sale was the highest participated sale I've ever been a part of. Um, I can see the clicks and I can see the sales. So I assure you people were shopping and they were shopping more than they ever had. And they were shopping well into August on the very last day. So, um, you be, yeah. And they, they do constantly, Restock. Now, I will say looking at my analytics, more than 60, maybe it's closer to 70% of my sales happened during early access. Um, so by the time it was open to the general public, only 30% of my sales came through from that side. But that's still a lot of sales. So there are sales to be found. And they sneakily throw in some restocks. And so that was my other thing about the wish list. Don't take your stuff out of wish list, even if it's sold out. Because if you have an item sitting on your wish list, Nordstrom through the app will send you alerts if it comes back in stock. So my, my, my biggest tip I can give you is get the Nordstrom app on your phone. Wish list everything, even if you're not sure you want it. Wish list everything. And if it comes back in stock, boom, you get that alert on your phone. Make sure notifications are turned on. Okay, I've curled my lashes. Um... The catalog is not out. The catalog goes live July 6th. That is a Tuesday. That following Friday, what is that? Seven, eight, the ninth. I will put my recommendations. Which we'll walk through it together. What is Jerry saying? You're wish listing as you speak. Unfortunately, everything that you see that's currently on the Nordstrom website is not going to be in the anniversary sale. Excuse me. The coffee's making me burp. Okay, let's get to the lash smoothie. We've been here an hour. I don't want to take up too much of your Sunday. So this was one of the things in my tart kit. It's the Sugar Rush Last Sugar Rush Lash Smoothie. So something like that would have been edited out if this was not live. I would have, whatever. Um, yeah, last year nothing was open, so everyone shopped online, which was good for me, obviously. But my point is whether you shopped online or in person, because I did shop in person at my Nordstrom store. Um, people were still shopping, but so, okay. This Sugar Rush is like a, an offshoot brand from Tarte. It's like their sister brand. And this mascara is fabulous. I cannot talk and do this at the same time though. It'll get all over the place. I don't know if you, let me see if I can zoom in. I think I can zoom in on this thing, which is cool. Ooh. Oh, I should have done this during, I'm so sorry. Okay, next live. There's this little zoom tool. Look at these bottom lashes as compared to these. This has the mascara. Look at how much longer they are. Okay, we're gonna stay zoomed in. Everyone gets, ooh, you know what? No, Cheryl, I don't think everyone gets access to the catalog. I think you have to be a card holder to get access, I think. These are the things I should know, boy. I'm pretty sure you need to be a card holder to even just access the catalog. Not suggesting you go out and take, oh no, it did it again. And we're back. I don't know if you see it on my end, but I think my camera gets hot and it turns off for a second and then it turns back on. I think that's what's happening. But it popped right back on. Yeah, I think it's a, a heat issue. We're fine. Okay. I love this mascara. I had originally gotten it like as a deluxe sample with some kind of tart order that I made. And so when they had that tart custom kit sale, I, uh, I'm not looking, I should make sure I'm in focus, but sorry. Um, I went ahead and got the full size and it does not disappoint. It's awesome. Um, I am so glad. Susan say, I'm going to put you on the screen, Susan. I'd like to think you have. I do spend a lot of time making sure that I'm recommending good stuff. And I'll tell you why. Here's a little secret, especially about the sponsor videos. 
There are some brands that will send, usually a makeup brand, that will send you um, the free product to talk about in the video. Um, Nordstrom, I just got mascara on my eye. Can you see that? Unbelievable. Okay. Nordstrom, let me take you off, and Walmart, actually, do not. Yes, I get a flat fee for the video, but I don't get anything for free. So everything I pick out to talk about, and I got more on me. Unbelievable. This is why you should not talk while doing mascara. Hang on. <laughs> so bad. Okay. Everything that I talk about in a Nordstrom or Walmart video, let me zoom you back out. This is terrifyingly close. Um, I have had to pick out and pay for with my own money. So yes, I am getting a flat fee. That's all very nice, but it's still my money that I have to pay uh, to buy all this stuff. And while yes, I do get paid for the sponsored video, here's a little more insight. I don't see that money for a while. Um, I did a collaboration video in February that I still haven't gotten paid for. Um, some videos from April I still haven't gotten paid for. And March. So, I mean, sometimes it's six months out before you see that that money come in. That's, it just, that's the way that the influencer world works. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So I'm going to try to get this off. Um, hang on. Let's see. I do not have issues with mascara smudging on my lower lashes, depending on which mascara I use. This one does not do it. Um, hang on, let me back up and answer some questions. Heather wants to know about good quality makeup brushes. BK Beauty, BK Beauty, BK Beauty, BK Beauty. Um, I do have a 10% off code down in my description box. That code is not an affiliate code. Like if you use my link, that is an affiliate link. If you just use the code, I get no kickback. Some people have concerns with that. So if you, if you have an issue with affiliates, just want you to know that's just 10% off. Um, okay. Let me see if I can get this <laughs> mascara off my face. I'm just taking a stiffer brush. I cannot believe I did that. Yes, I can. It's like a daily thing. Who are we kidding? I'm always messing up my makeup. Okay. I forgot to bring like a lighter, um, Recommended Believe Beauty Mascara in the Purple Tube. Oh, I haven't tried that. I keep forgetting about Believe Beauty. So anyway, that's a little insight on the, um, I'm using just translucent powder, sort of just to like highlight the top here. I don't want a shiny brow bone. And I forgot to bring a like a nude or ivory shaded eyeshadow. Okay. So that's a little insight into the world of influencing. Yes, we do get paid to make those sponsored videos and posts. When we get paid, totally different story. Um, okay, so I am thinking about totally stealing an idea and changing it a little. So I don't know how many of you follow Allie Glines here on YouTube. I've talked about her before. She is, I don't know her personally, but she seems very genuine and real and very transparent and very talented. I love her. I could be her mom, but I love her. So she just did a video where she did a Google doc and, or a Google form. And she asked her followers what their favorite foundations were. And then she put all the results together and released and went through the top 10 favorite foundations of her audience. And I'm like, you know, that's a great idea, but I am almost 50 years old. What if we did the same thing, but only had people 40 and up answer um, I'm not trying to be ageist, but we do have different needs. So I put it together. I haven't released it yet. I might put it in the description box here for later viewers and then definitely in the next few videos. And I'll also put it on my stories and I'll get those together. And that could be a fun video for later in July. Might take me a while to get through all the replies. Um, but I thought that'd be, and I, it's, it has three questions. It's, what age group are you in? 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s and up? Um, do you have normal, dry or oily skin? And um, what's your favorite foundation? So yes, Allie loves Believe Beauty. Like I learned about Believe Beauty from her. Favorite eye palette for traveling? I really like the Too Faced, is it the Natural Matte Palette and the Natural Eyes Palette? I like the Too Faced Naturally Nudes Palette. I used to love the Milani Soft and Sultry and Bold Obsessions palettes, but those are 
pretty much discontinued, but if you have them, grab them. Anything that has a wide variety of neutrals, if you have room in your suitcase, the Profusion Minimalist palette, I think, has a lot of great options. And then you can always add in like a single shadow or a smaller palette with like extra fun shades to throw in with the neutrals. Okay, Pran's asking me, do I still have my hair extensions in? Yes, I do. I will show you that in a minute. I think that they're almost fully grown out and it's time to take them out and put in a new set. Let me throw on my lipstick and then I'll take my hair down. We'll stick around and answer some just chit chat questions. And, um, and then we'll wrap it up because we got to get our Sunday on, right? Okay. Um, so I got this in the Tarte thing I was telling you about. If I don't know how often they offer this. It might be twice a year where you pick out, I think it's seven full-size pieces for 60 some odd 60 62 dollars something ridiculously cheap um it's a really good deal so uh i didn't even show you all the stuff i got and the makeup bag where can i put it oh it's over there okay so this was one of the juicy lips which i love i don't know if i love the color i picked but i wanted to try something different this one is strawberry it doesn't really go it doesn't go with what i'm wearing today at all uh I've got my <laughs> off-camera helper. He's showing me. You get to even pick out your um, makeup bag. And I went with this faux crocodile one. I didn't scroll through all my choices. There was a really cute glitter one that I'm kind of bummed I missed out on. Okay, this strawberry one totally doesn't match. I mean, it's like a reddish color and then, but whatever. It's pretty. I wanted you to see it. I'll throw it in the bag. Let me take my hair down and let me zoom out because this is frightening. Okay. So let's get to just random questions first. So hair extensions. Let me see if you can see these. I might zoom back in. Let me move all my makeup on. Oh, I forgot to set. Hang on, guys. Still loving, loving this. This is my second bottle. Okay, that's probably too much. Um, it's the Milani Make It Last. Let me... 40, 50, 60 year old women rule the world. I think so for a variety of reasons, but okay, selfishly. So back to the hair extension. So they can last anywhere from three to four months or longer, just depending on how fast your hair grows. Um, mine generally last about three months. My hair grows a little bit faster. I don't think I've made it to the four month mark. This is my actual, my second set. So I have 10 keratin bonded hair extensions on each side. And let's see what you can see. Let me zoom you in. And there's dry shampoo in my hair, so I apologize. Looks a little weird. Okay, that little bead, you can see, I mean, you can see the roots. That's my natural hair color, if you're curious. There it is. Um, so when they first go in, this little bead is right up against my scalp. So this is how much my hair has grown in three months. This is the little hair extension. There she is. And there are 10 of these randomly throughout. Now, so they've, there's another one. They have grown out quite a bit. So the beads are starting to get annoying because I can feel them and I can kind of see them and they're harder to hide. And there are 10 right there. And I just add them for volume and, whoops, <laughs> hang on, volume and thickness. So I love them. I think they're totally worth it, but you know, everyone's budget is different. But if you are really struggling with hair thickness, this is a nice, easy fix. Um, someone asked me about, oh, Melissa wanted to know, let me pop you up on here. What do I think of lip fillers? I think they're great. I had my lips filled in in December. Clearly it doesn't look like very much has been done. I was, you know, let me get over the I was a little concerned with having overfilled lips. I'm hypersensitive to trolls in that area and I need to just stop with that and just do what I want. So I told the doctor to do less than what she wanted. If I ever do this again, um, I'm sorry, I was clicking on things. Um, I'm just gonna let her do whatever she wants. She's never gonna, I trust my doctor. She's not gonna make me look like a real housewife. So I think they're fabulous. I think they're actually even better on older women like over 40s, closer to 50 and up, because we tend to get, uh, we lose a lot of volume in our lips as we get older. And we tend to get these vertical, like they, they're called smokers lines, even if we've never smoked. And that little bit of lip plump can really help get rid of the vertical lines around your lips. 
I've never tried the lip flip. I've heard a few people refer, refer to that or try it. It's supposed to give you a little more volume. I don't even really know what that is. I need to ask my dermatologist um, the next time I go and see what she recommends. Okay. I think people get, oh, Anne saying she thinks most people give a thumb up because most YouTubers say in every video to please give a thumbs up if you like that video. It's That's true. And I'm a bad YouTuber and I always forget to say that. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Um, because that's all about the YouTube game. And YouTube will, let's just say you're searching for a review on Laura Mercier setting powder. And um, let's say I do a whole video on this and like 20 other people have done a whole video on this. When you type in the search result, when you type in the search bar at Laura Mercier setting powder, the top ones that will get recommended to you are the ones, not necessarily the most views, but the most thumbs up. So that's how you play the game if you want to get discovered by non-subscribers, which of course, that's how you're going to build your channel. You have to grow. I just always forget to do it. I've never played the YouTube game and I'm not saying it's a bad game to play. It's just, I think it's because I started my channel so long ago. It was before all these things. It was before sponsored videos. It was before affiliate income. So we just made videos because we loved talking about makeup and stuff and everything else sort of just naturally came after that. And so I think I've never thought of this. I do think of this as a business to some degree, but it wasn't started as an uh, enterprise in which to make money. So it's almost a secondary thought. I don't make videos going, ooh, I wonder what video topic I can do that'll get the most views or that'll let me link the most products. I just talk about whatever I feel like talking about. And if it lends itself to some commissions, that's great, but that's not what drives my video ideas. So, okay. Can I share my three favorite summer toenail polish colors? Ooh, okay. Right now I'm sporting a French pedicure and Michael loves it. So that's always a plus. I did get one person comment on my Instagram post that it's tacky, but they're not her feet, so I don't care. So I'm kind of into that. I really like, um, it's OPI Cajun Shrimp. It's sort of like a bright corally red. I think that's a really pretty one. And um, I do like um, OPI Let's Be Friends. It's like an icy white pink. I think that would look awesome year round, but even against tan feet would look even better. Um, Kay is asking that she wishes there was a way to narrow searches on YouTube, like limiting to a time period. I think you can. I think that is an option. You have to look really carefully because they don't, unless they've changed it. It's been a long time since I've really looked at their filters. But the last, I, I do remember trying to cull it down from like within the last week or the last month and you can find those. But I wouldn't necessarily limit the... Um, to five years or, or, you know, how do I say this? I wouldn't necessarily disregard a five-year-old review. True, they're not going to be able to compare it to more recent products, but it's still a genuine review from five years ago. So don't discount older reviews. They still may be valuable and give you some insight that you didn't know about. Okay. Um, yeah, I like, a, I, I like blue toenail polish, but I like it less than I used to. I'm not judging anyone who's wearing a really cool blue toenail. I like, I love, what was it called? Sally Hansen Pacific Blue. Love that blue. Um, but as I get older, I just don't want to be that mom with blue toenails. And again, I don't, when I look at another mom with blue toenails, I don't think that of them. So I don't know why I'm projecting that on myself, but I'm trying to be a little more, a little more classic. Smidge. Although I don't love, um, I don't, I don't hate a black toenail either. I got to say, <laughs> I like Terry's comment here. She said, I would rather say hubby over random, but and not positive comment. Yeah. Yes. I mean, he's the one looking at my feet most of the time. Right. So for sure. Does anybody have any other, any questions at all? I definitely want to do more of these lives and I think it would be fun to not necessarily have a topic, not have a get ready with me. Just, we can just talk. Like everybody grab a snack, grab a beverage, and we can just 
throw questions and comments up there. Um, I love this. This is what my Instagram lives are usually like. I feel like this is way more fun. Um, I have a little more control over reading the comments and and then it's it's saved and it's easier to find. Blue toenails is like a mom in a miniskirt. Yes, Jerry, we are like soul sisters. And again, nothing wrong with a mom wearing a miniskirt, especially if, if you have great legs. Honestly, I'm jealous. But I guess it's because I'm thinking of my 20-year-old and 23-year-old sons who are probably going to be horrified if people are looking at their moms like this. So, um, Jerry also just asked if Living Proof is in the Nordy sale. I don't know. But um, I would guess it's likely because it usually is. It's been my understanding that everything that's previously been in the sale, like traditionally, will more than likely be there. Plus, they're adding more brands than they've had before. Thank God. I really do feel like they need to expand the brand range a little bit. So I am excited. Um, anyway, I'm going to, wait, breast augmentation. Do they really need to be replaced after a period of time? Whitney, okay, this is going to be the last question. And I feel like this is something we need to talk about because there's so much misinformation out there. And I have done my due diligence, talked to multiple plastic surgeons about this. The quick answer is no. So here is, um, here is the answer. When you get breast implants, there's a statistical ratio about what is the likelihood that there will be a malfunction or failure in which they need to be replaced. So after 10 years, there is a, and it's not across the board, but generally speaking, and I'm speaking saline here because that's my only knowledge. After 10 years of having saline implants, there is a 10% chance that they will have failed and a 90% chance that they won't. And then every 10 years, that likelihood of failure goes up 10%. So after you've had breast implants 20 years, there's a 20% chance that they're going to fail. So basically, once you've had your implants 50 years, <laughs> there's a 50-50 shot that they're going to be need, need to be replaced. So the reality is, no. Unless they actually fail, they rupture, they leak, what they move, I don't even know they can do that. Unless there's some sort of failure in the implant, no, you can go to the grave with the ones that you had installed originally. Think about how ridiculous that would be if every woman who had breast implants had to go under the knife and full general anesthesia every 10 years. I mean, it is a major surgery. Anything that involves general anesthesia is a major risky surgery. To do that every 10 years would be insanity. Also, astronomically expensive. So, no. That's not in any way... A, me advocating that you should get implants? Absolutely not. But if that was something holding you back, no. Also confirm that with your doctor because like I said, I don't know about silicone and I'm only talking about the implants I personally have. I don't know. have any knowledge about other versions. Okay. This will be saved when we say goodbye. So if you missed the beginning or you want to revisit anything, I will update the description box to add a few of the things that we talked about here if you want to go looking for them. Um, as always, you can find me the easiest and the most quickly on Instagram. I'm at Miss Gold Girl there too. And I answer every single one of my DM questions, unless they're rude or none of your business. So hopefully you had fun. I had a blast. This was so fun. Thank you for giving up some of your Sunday to hang out with me. We will definitely do this again. Um, and and that is that is all I got to say. Yes, pray on. Yes, they would see if you had an implant issue for sure. Okay. Thanks everybody. I love this and have a great rest of your Sunday. And I will see you on Tuesday for my regularly scheduled 6 a.m. video. And it's going to be June favorites. And then Friday's video is going to be another get ready with me, all drugstore products. It's from Walmart and it's sponsored. And I got some really, really cool stuff. I cannot wait for you to see it, including possibly my all-time favorite new foundation. All right, guys, have a great day. Um, I can't wait. I need to take Whitney's comment off. This is embarrassing to just leave that up there. <laughs> hang on. Where is, okay, this is something I, there we go. Okay. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you on Tuesday.